Hi there. Do you use Roland's keyboard and Apple's main stage? If so, then like me, you will have had this problem. You set up your patches on main stage, then you plug in your patch change pedal, and what happens? It advances two, sometimes three patches all at once. I've not found to date a simple online video to explain how to fix this. So here we go, a quick and hopefully simple solution. Now, there will be some people online that are far more educated and knowledgeable in this subject than me and may be able to explain why this happens with Roland keyboards. But why it happens is not the purpose of this video. So then, how do we fix it? First of all, one takes your damper pedal. This is mine, standard damper pedal supplied with most keyboards. Secondly, a patch change switch. This is the Boss FS5U, standard in for what we do. And finally, my Roland RD800. First, you need to plug your patch change pedal into your damper socket at the rear of the keyboard. Second, plug your damper pedal into your foot controller socket, or in this case, the FC1. Now that we've made those connections, let's head over to main stage. And you can see I've set up a simple set here with a few patch changes down the left hand side. First thing we need to do, if you haven't done this already, is make sure that the pedals that we've just connected are mapped correctly. So we'll go over to layout in the top left hand corner there. We'll select our damper pedal, hit the assign button and press our pedal a few times. Make sure that it's, connection, it's connected correctly and it is. Then we'll hit on the foot switch sign is highlighted and we'll hit the foot switch a few times yep that's lighting up fine okay we're all connected we then go back to the edit button um, but this time we are going to go to assignments and mappings and this is where it's really important we need to make sure we are at the concert level lots of people made that mistake at concert level and we choose our foot switch here and we make sure it is connected to actions and next patch, which you'll find it most likely already will be. We then go over to the sustain, and this time we're going to scroll right down to the bottom to center all, and what pops up there is the name of my interface. Your interface will be different. We make sure that we hit on that, and we're going to then scroll down to CC number 64, which is sustain. Okay, we can now go back to our workspace, we can select our first patch, and by pressing this button, look what happens. Only one patch at a time. Sorted. Hope that helps. See you next time.